Hey everyone, E3 is over and I am so exhausted in the best way possible. It was a really good time, but I wanted to make a quick video to kind of wrap things up and tell you what my top games of E3 2019 were. That being said, I will still be releasing gameplay videos on this channel for the next upcoming weeks whenever I have time to edit them and then I'll throw them on there, so look for those. But now I present to you in no particular order my top five favorite games of E3 2019. Gotta kick things off with Cyberpunk 2077 from CD Projekt Red. This is an open world action adventure story set in Night City. You play as V, a mercenary outlaw, going after an implant that makes you immortal. Uh, we got a big surprise at E3 that Keanu Reeves is in the game. It's got super realistic graphics a la The Witcher and of course a cyberpunk setting with cyborg-esque body mods that they call cyberware. It releases April 16th, 2020 and I can't wait. Then we've got Control from Remedy. I am absolutely obsessed with the storyline and lore of this game, at least what we know of it so far. It's got a very flexible combat style, so you've got an upgradable loadout with supernatural abilities, um, and you can kind of alternate between the supernatural abilities and your more traditional shooter style gameplay to fit your play style. There's this supernatural otherworldly force called the Hiss that is your primary opponent in the game, from what I can tell. It's got completely reactive environments that you can most definitely use uh, using your supernatural telekinetic abilities to fight the hiss. It comes from Remedy, so fantastic visuals and compelling mysterious stories are par for the course. If you are a fan of the Alan Wake games, then pay attention. This releases August 27th, 2019 on all platforms. Final Fantasy VII is coming back! The Final Fantasy VII Remake is a retelling of the original story from Square Enix, but done in a much more modern style. So uh, we go from the super pixelated graphics of the 90s to the beauty that our hardware can put output now, and it is stunning. The combat does a masterful job of combining turn-based combat, like in the originals, with a real-time action combat that's more popular now, and it does this using an action time battle gauge, or ATB gauge. Once your ATB gauge fills up from, you know, kind of button mashing and hack and slashing, then you move into a more turn-based tactical style where you can plan out and really figure out what you're going to do. I'm a fan of the old school turn-based. I know that is less popular now, but I love that this combat style incorporates both. It looks fantastic, again, especially when you compare it to the original pixel style, and the first part of it will release on March 3rd, 2020. This is Watch Dogs Legion. Now this is set in a post-Brexit London where we find a tech-laden dystopia. Every single NPC in the game can become a playable character. This is so exciting and so ambitious and I got a chance to get hands-on with the gameplay and I will say it delivers. Every single person you see in the environment, and there are a lot of them, you can scan them, find out their different backgrounds, traits, and skills, and then decide if you want to recruit them to your cause and then actually play as that character. Again, it's super ambitious. My hands-on game time with it was incredibly fun and it releases March 6, 2020. And finally, rounding out my top five is Baldur's Gate 3. We have not seen any gameplay for this yet. In fact, it was just announced at E3. It was leaked just before that, but officially announced at E3 2019. And it comes to us from Larian Studios, who knocked it out of the park with Divinity Original Sin and Divinity Original Sin 2, and Wizards of the Coast, who make Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Baldur's Gate is a city set within the Forgotten Realms D&D setting. They have announced that there's going to be a tabletop prequel for Baldur's Gate 3, which gets me super excited because you know I love me some tabletop games. The previous Baldur's Gate games were all based on the second edition D&D rules, and they have announced that this will be a port of the fifth edition D&D rules, so a little bit more modern, um, in my opinion, more easy to play and to understand the rules. We, again, don't have any game gameplay yet. We haven't seen any gameplay trailers. No one had hands on, but we can guess that it's going to be an isometric style since both Divinity and the original Baldur's Gate games had the same isometric style. We have no release date for it yet, but as a tabletop gamer, I am supremely hyped. There are so many more that I didn't even get to include in this video. Um, Gods and Monsters, 12 Minutes, Mosaic, Atomic Crops, 
Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, which I'm so hyped for. Um, Dying Light 2, which looked amazing and terrifying, and I don't know that I'll be able to play it by myself in the dark especially um but this year's e3 i thought was a real good time so let me know in the comments which game you were most excited about from the announcements from e3 and i'll see you soon